Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming back to watch my videos. In case you're new here, my name is JBN. Kindly consider subscribing, like, share, and share my video and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you're my beautiful returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to watch my videos. In today's video, guys, I'm gonna show you how my beautiful African village kitchen looks like, guys. My kitchen looks so beautiful, guys. Drop a quick comment for your girl. Let her know if you really have this kind of kitchen. In yeah. Let me know if you've ever used such a kitchen, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leave a comment and whatever you see, drop a comment. Let me know if you have ever seen. It's a folk tool. <laughs> This is a garden for English. We are going to dig. No, it is such a motion. No, 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 Come, come along with me and I show you my beautiful village kitchen, guys. This is my beautiful kitchen and as you can see, this is how it looks like. Very simple and easy to construct. Yeah. These are stones that we cook on. My sister is making charcoal stove because she's gonna prepare breakfast. It's just 7.30 a.m. in the morning. And these are matchsticks and they are the ones we use to light the fire and this is a matchbox. So we have a matchbox and a matchstick so we call it a matchbox. It's right here. By the way, okay, guys we have two cooking presses. There is this, the other one and this one. So this one we use it to prepare soup and then the other one we use it to prepare food. So like okra soup, fish, any kind of soup guys. So this ash is also very very important we also reserve it because we, you can use it to brush your teeth and your teeth can turn white as white as snow guys it can whiten your teeth and they can look like mm. because this ash contains potassium hydroxide guys yeah did you know this do you know the importance of ash drop a comment and let me know if there is any other importance and let me know if you do the same in your country guys yeah. it's the same ash can be used so we, you we have other things that we use this ash for that's why we are still reserving it we're gonna use it and guys this is this is guys we call this orubengo do you know orubengo guys do you know orubengo do you have orubengo in your country let me know drop it my, my way guys <laughs> it's too heavy you can't believe it so this is orubengo guys so you this is you know we normally grind millet we grind sorghum and we call it we call for us we call sogamo is omogusha in my language yeah it's omogusha that is sogam in english it's sogam guys drop a comment let me know how you call sogam of course these are sogam sogam hats guys this is you, you see, there are still some seeds you know they are red in color guys this is sogam of course we have bean bean hats you see we have vested we just have vested so you put it your your millet here you know you put your millet here i'm gonna show you guys let me put some little this because we don't have we don't have some here in the kitchen 
So guys, this is sorghum as you can see. So this is the thing that we use. So you just do like this. My brother has given me some sorghum, guys. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you and show you how we do it here in the village. My African village, typical African village life, guys. So this is how we do it. By the way, you can kneel down. You kneel down, you kneel down, it becomes so much better. If you can, really, if you can manage. So, you make sure, guys, we call this grinding. Some people have big machines, but here in the village we have this, this is what you use. Yeah, this is what we use, we call it Orvengo. Do you have this in your country? Drop a comment and let me know if you have this in your country. So guys, you put something here, you know, this is how you do it. Now when I'm grinding, this is a grinding stone, yeah, grinding stone, and this is what we use. So when I, when I grind, the flour will keep dropping on the plate. You can put a plate, you can put a, anything, as long as you can. So we do like this. I grew up doing this, guys, one time I used to do this, and I used to enjoy it. So we do like this. You see, guys? You see? This is flat. So, you see? When you, 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 yeah. So, the this one is little, that's a problem, but you see it's going there. <laughs> so you keep pushing the head, guys, you see? This is typical village life, guys. So it's supposed to keep dropping on the plate, but you see, it's very little. I don't have the soda, and I don't want to waste it because we already have flour in the house. So, guys, it will keep pushing this way, so then it will eventually fall on the plate, just like that. Yeah. yeah. But now you know guys we have the modern grinding machines so we rarely use this that's why we kept it kept it here but whoever wants to use can always use yeah yeah this is how we do it guys Ooh. so guys this is it like i said this is the grinding stone and this is so gum that i was guys you know these are guys these are eggplants as you can see they are dry but these ones but guys these ones we kept there for we want to have seeds out of them eh? want them to dry because you know the fire is coming from that you know that fireplace so they will dry and then when the season comes we shall plant them we want to plant them down there in the garden these are eggplants so guys even when we slaughter meat guys let me tell you when we slaughter meat hmm, we put sticks here then we put the meat you know because this is the fireplace and the smoke will keep you know going to the meat and that's how we preserve our meat here in the village we don't have to have the fridges to put the meat, you know, mm. and it can keep fresh and good. It doesn't even get rotten. Guys, this is Tundubare. <laughs> Drop a comment, let me know the English name of this. How do you call Tundubare? <laughs> yes, I don't know Tundubare in English. It's right here. Hmm? So it's, it's by two, it's still useful, right? It's all. Tundubare. Yeah, but it's Tundubare. Leave a comment, let me know how you call it. <laughs> Babe, let me know how you call this in your country. Is it Tundubare also? This, this, they use it to build a tent. So leave a comment. Let me know the name of this thing. Let me not waste time on it. So yeah, guys, mm. this is it. Mm. And firewood. Don't think this is useless. We are going to act. Uh, we shall split it with a, an axe, and, and then we get fire. We get firewood out of it, mm. and then we can. Then mm. firewood is very expensive mm. here in my village. Mm. So, not, so guys, this is it. Okay. This is iron sheet, guys. If you don't know, let's go out oh, and no. show them. The kids have come out to see what I'm doing and they're right. Guys, this is my son. My sister is son. So he's called Emmanuel, guys. Say hi. No. He's my kid brother. Hi. Jaja. Hi. 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 Yeah. He's called JJ. Jeremiah. This is called Joby. He's running off from me. He's my son. This is my daughter. She's called Marina. And right, he's right here. He's our neighbor. And this is my handsome uncle. 
right side of the middle is called Nicholas. Nicholas, this one. I brought you it here in the village. It's right here. and who hold to protect it from falling. Eh? You see? Yeah. This is it, guys. This is it. This is my village. This is it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. This is the end of this video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. And click on the notification bell so you never miss the video you want to get. Thank you so much. Video, where are you? Video. Are you one? Inside. So, guys, kindly subscribe. Subscribe. God bless you. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>